What's good, everyone? It's M Joe, twenty-three Dan. I just want to give like a little quick thank you to Rack and Rack TV and everyone else that uh, showed support for the new logo. Rack was actually the one that designed the logo, so props to him. Thank you, bro. Um, but right now, I want to go ahead and introduce to you the Air Jordan Two Retro. Now, this dropped in two thousand and four. As everyone knows, the Re Retro of this shoe is coming out tomorrow Saturday for 150 bucks and uh, it was actually the original colorway that didn't have the black midsole these actually have the black midsole on it. I actually prefer the black midsole ones a lot more just because of the colors and the contrast and everything and what's funny around that time in 86 and 87 when the shoe was created the um, home colorway, of course, you know, as I was mentioning, it didn't have that black uh, midsole, but it was supposed to differentiate between a home and a road. So this would be considered your road shoe. Um, they didn't have a black and all black and red Air Jordan 2 back then. So it was one of the shoes, you know, then that didn't have that. Maybe it was because of the band situation with the Air Jordan 1, which was not technically banned, but. Um, you get the picture. I made a whole video on that so you guys can search that up. But anyways, these were released in 2004 for um, 100 bucks, And this is actually from the employee store. Let me just go ahead and take out both. I just want to give you an up close here. It's got an ES stamp right up there, mini employee store. Air Jordan 2 Retro, White, Varsity, Red, Black, style number 308308, color code is 161, came in the Jordan face box, also came with a retro card, not many retros come with retro cards anymore, if at all, anymore. But there were rumors about it making a comeback. And these were always really cool additions to any release. But here's the shoe. The last time this retroed in this colorway was in 2010. Uh, it also came back um, a couple years before that in 2008. But that was in the original colorway, again with the white midsole. But I do prefer the black midsole just because of that contrast and you know the black matching the black laces and the black hits on the shoe. It's got the black bottom here. Your retro is going to have a white white midsole obviously, but everything else should be about the same. Um the the ribbing here, the rubber ribbing right here on the back is actually going to be set wider on the bottom as compared to these and the countdown packs. These actually are a little bit more squared up. Air Jordan logo. And this is just a nice little throwback that I got I wanted to share with you guys. It's got a red insole. Red insole with a black Jumpman. Black cloth lining interior. And the tag was behind the tongue. As opposed to Jordans now that have them on the sides. Okay. Um, some differences between the Countdown Pack release and the release that's coming out on Saturday is that the one on Saturday was 150 bucks um, the one that released in the countdown pack obviously was three hundred and ten dollars but let me just show this shoe just to give you guys a, um, what, a comparison I guess to what to look for um, one thing that's gonna jump out is the uh, the back as I was stating you're gonna notice that the the rubber ribbing on the back is going to be set wider at the bottom 
than it is in the countdown pack. The countdown pack is actually a bit more squarish in um, relation to this 2004 retro. Okay, the the back here, the stitching around the Nike. In the countdown pack, there was white stitching, just like it is here. And in the 2014, it's red stitching. On the tongue, the countdown pack 23 was black, and the 2014 will be red. The lining here, going across the shoe, it's going to have that same pattern here where it's red to black, going towards the back, going back to red. With the bottom, you're going to have those gray hits still. It's going to be white here, up on the Jordan, and on this panel here. I believe that the countdown pack was actually um, a brighter red, as opposed to the one that's coming out on Saturday. It's got a little bit of a darker red to it. Alright guys, so I want to thank you for checking out the channel. Um, there's probably not going to be too many changes. I kind of want to keep the format the same. Um, do a few restorations. You know, do a few showcases such as this. And uh, many other discussions that just come to mind. So um, when I said rebirth, it was actually just, you know, the logo and everything. But if you guys have suggestions, you know, something that you might want to see. Um, I still have a ton of stuff in my collection that I'd love to share. And, you know, just chop it up with you guys. So thanks again. For tuning in to MJO23Dan. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.